for me, I don't know, I relate to the kite, the freedom that that thing's moving in space. It's, it's sort of an extension of my being in a way. I, 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 it's funny, when I dream, I don't dream of being handicapped in any way, shape, or form. I always dream that I'm normal. And to me, putting the kite in my hands and flying, I feel normal. Uh, now kites come with instructions. Now kites are engineered better. Everything about them is better and simpler, but I've always reminded myself and I've always told everyone who's ever worked for me, don't ever forget your first experience. Uh, people are curious, especially when you start talking about indoor kite flying, because people haven't heard that. What, what, what is this indoor kite flying thing? You know, how many fans you got going? But, uh, you know, people are gonna be cynical. They're gonna be cynical about anything. It, it, uh, to take it personal, that, that you picked a hobby that might seem like a little kid's diamond kite is, is what you're about. Oh well, you know, you just go for it. Mr. Scott Davis. playing and it was just an all-day thing and at the end of the day I finally landed the kites my arms were just completely numb I had no feeling in my hands and I just sat down on the beach and one of the kite flyers from the festival walked over with a bottle of water his name was Al Washington and he said you really like to fly don't you and I just I just was beaming because I had such a great time and from that moment on I gained a whole family of people in my life uh, they're sort of like brothers and sisters, you know. Kiting is like means a lot to me, so we really want that to show to people to actually see, you know, and see it, how it. It's my salvation, really. I sat around my couch like this, watching TV, going nuts. Yeah, waiting for the end, basically.